In this work, we introduce the covariance tree, also called the Cov tree, a flexible and generic tool to solve Gaussian mixture models based image restoration tasks without the computational penalty or parameter tuning difficulties associated to its naive implementation. Given any query point and a scale parameter, our structure returns a local Gaussian model that represents the statistics of the data points that are close to the query at this given scale. Our approach is essentially based on three main steps. First, we perform a top-down hierarchical space partitioning based on the position of the data up to a limited cell size. This results in a binary tree structure. Each node carries an anisotropic covariance matrix which models the local statistical distribution of the data and drives the optimal partitioning. Then, we learn this distribution by propagating data points through the tree. Each point is propagated using its position. Each time this point goes through a node, the covariance matrix associated to the node is updated. Finally, we calculate a multivariate Gaussian distribution of any neighborhood in the form of a mean and covariance matrix. Using the tree structure, the aggregation of the statistical information of this neighborhood is accelerated by averaging pre-computed aggregations of the relevant nodes in the hierarchy. We now illustrate the use of the covariance tree in the context of non-local patch-based image denoising problems. In this case, the points indexed in our structure are 7x7 seven seven color image patches and considered as vectors in a 147 dimensional space. We use this structure to accelerate and improve current collaborative filters such as non-local bays. Our Cov tree is built and learned from a set of patches extracted from the noisy image. With this data structure, we produce a non-local Bayes filter that produces better results than the original non-local Bayes. In the original non-local Bayes, means and covariance matrices are estimated by averaging the k nearest neighbors with a constant weight. Consequently, covariance matrices can be more strongly affected by outliers. This is not the case with our implementation that uses Gaussian weighting without any performance penalty. To increase the performance of non-local bays, we propose to use an external noiseless image database instead of noisy patches for the denoising. In our case, the database contains about 100 million patches and the learning phase takes about 5 hours and 8 gigabytes of RAM to hold the data structure. We show the result of the denoising of an image using a database of similar noiseless images. As expected, the database-driven denoising performs better and becomes computationally feasible thanks to our structure. By using the same external database, we propose an application to the reconstruction of an image where only 20% samples were retained. Starting from a cubic interpolation, we query the tree with a set number of coarse-defined query scales. Our approach allows to recover the details lost by the cubic interpolation. Finally, we define a non-local Bayes point set surface operator from a noisy 3D point set. We use our Cov tree to define a surface quickly that recovers fine details better than the local method. This experiment shows that the Cov tree could be used to extend previous 2D applications to 3D. The covariance tree structure we just introduced provides several key benefits such as on-the-fly learning which allows to stream additional data points for a constant memory budget, fast local distribution estimate at different scales without recomputing the data structure, genericity allowing to solve various 2D and 3D problems. Thank you for watching our video on covariance trees for 2D and 3D processing.